Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I am a first grade teacher in Las Vegas. Today is the first day of school, which is really incredibly exciting, thrilling. I am, however, very tired. I woke up this morning at like 3 a.m. and was up for, I don't even know how long. It was one of those times where you wake up and you're in and out of sleep. So I feel very tired. I am 100% ready for the children today. I did do some new things that I want to chat with you about. I sent out a Google form on Class Dojo and I said, use the form to help me build a classroom playlist of songs loved in your home. And I've already gotten some responses and it's actually kind of funny to see like the kinds of things that parents are saying. One of them, I think this is hilarious, one of them said like a normal kind of song and then the other is Sabotage by Beastie Boys, but that's frowned upon, LOL. <laughs> I've heard of people doing that before where you make a class playlist, but I never did it. So we're doing it this year. First day, that's crazy. Also, this is the first day in the history of my first days where I did not go to the store and buy the ingredients for jitter juice the morning of the first day. I was prepared. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up my PowerPoint for the day. I need to go grab a roster from the office and then I'm gonna prepare jitter juice cups. In the past, I've just poured jitter juice in, in the cups, but this year I'm putting like sprinkles around the edge just to make it a little bit more fun because I have extra time. I have a lot of time this morning. Let's start the day. Also, if you missed it, I did a whole plan with me for the first day, first week of school. So go watch that video if you haven't seen it. I got the cups ready for jitter juice. I'm going to make name tags for all my kids that just say my class name and then their name. Just for the first day, I have a good idea of most of them. But that way if they're you know walking through the hallway it says they're in my classroom so i'm gonna do that also john made scones for my first grade team <laughs> so that was sweet and next time you see me i will be talking with my new class our first morning message of first grade good morning, morning. good your eyes are tracking ready good, good morning, morning. Happy Monday! Because I was reading the message on the board, your shoulders and your knees are facing the board. But now, since I'm talking to you, your shoulders and your knees, you got it. Your shoulders and your knees should be facing me. Good. Did you guys use the word tracking when you were in kindergarten? Yes. Tracking means to follow. Track my finger. Oh, you're turning your body. Good job. What's from over here? It's the end of the day. We did it. Actually, let me start at the very end. So we all agreed dismissal on the first day of school is the worst part of the first day of school, right? <laughs> we all agree. Okay. I actually feel like this is close to one of the best first days that I've had. It reminds me a lot of my first year teaching and I think that one's just always going to be my favorite because it was my first year. But this one went really, really smooth and I felt, you know, every year you just get better at everything. But this year was, it was really nice. Let's talk about the day. I planned the perfect amount of things for today. That never happens. I think I really learned my lesson last year. Planned the perfect amount of things. We got through everything I wanted to get through, except we didn't do the end of the day wrap thing I like to do. That was a little bit rushed, but we started by going over playground rules, going outside. Actually, we started by picking the kids up and then we brought them down to our classroom. I let them in slowly, showed them our procedure for signing in their names. We talked about <laughs> reminding me to take attendance every day. Love it. You guys are being so patient. Beautiful handwriting. And I love that you're closing the markers all the way and putting them back. Okay, you're going to go ahead and trace your name and then put your backpack up when you get here. What's the first thing you're gonna do in the classroom? Trace your name. You're gonna trace your name. Now let's see, is everybody here or are we missing anybody? Hmm. Is everybody here? Yeah, they're here. How can I tell that they're here? Because their name is traced on the board. Every day, you're gonna come in and sign your name so Ms. Call knows you are here. Fabulous, you know what? I'm gonna take a picture of those backpacks and those lunch boxes because I want that to be exactly how they look for the rest of the year. Amazing. Every day I'm gonna have a special friend who is my helper for the day and they're gonna get to erase the board. All you girlies, go ahead and get the eraser. And every morning I have a director and my director helps me with all my teacher jobs. And do you see that little green sticker above the markers? Yeah, who can grab that for me? It says, hey girl, 
You should take attendance. Sound good? Okay, great. Um, what we're gonna do every morning is sign in, backpacks, you'll have something to do. We'll go over our morning message. Today, I wanna get you guys out on the playground. So we're gonna talk about those playground rules. Sound good? <laughs> Walk on the black top. Yes, and if you see someone running on the black top, all you have to say is, Walk on the black top. Did everybody put their water bottles? in my little water bottle container. Yes. You can show me like this. Yes, yes. or no. Yes. Practice yes. yes, like you're nodding your head yes, or no. Okay, did everybody put their water bottles? Yes. Yes, if you have one. Let's practice. Your eyes are? Forward. Good, and when you say that, your eyes are forward, right? Let's practice, your eyes are? Forward. Together, your eyes are forward. Your voices are off. One more time. Your eyes are forward. Your voices are off. Now we're ready. Then we went outside. We came back in. We read first day jitters. Um, that went really, really well. They. <laughs> it always takes them a second at the end to. They have to think about it, and then they think it's the funniest thing ever. We used a novel effect for that, which they really enjoyed. And then I also read that one really dramatically. I know I didn't film it for you guys, but I was using my phone <laughs> for novel effect. But it's about a teacher who like doesn't want to get out of bed and go to school, and I like lay all over the place. It's just this funny, funny thing that I'm sorry you missed, but I make a big deal out of it. And then I teach them all about our book tracker. We had jitter juice, which they all love. All this week, actually, You're good. I'm good at this. Thank you. All this week, we're going to be talking about how readers make predictions. Say it with me. Readers make predictions. That's what we're working on. Do you know what a prediction is? Oh, kind of. Ooh, she said careful guess. Everybody say it. Careful guess. What? Careful guess. Yeah, it's what you think is going to happen. A prediction can be right or it can be wrong. We don't know. Prediction. How many syllables? Three. Three syllables. Predictions. Today, first grade, we're working on listening to the story. Can you do that? Absolutely. Our book today is called First Day Shitters. You ready for those sound effects? Let's do it. I'm talking right now, so you really can't me. But when talking, you're going to turn and look at her, right? What made you think and make that prediction that Sarah was just a kid? I thought the same thing. Did you guys think that she was a kid because of her parents and her lunchbox? Yeah? Okay, show me this. To your heart. And then to her. You're agreeing with her. Now I want you to look around. You see all these friends agreeing with you? Thank you so much for us and telling us what your prediction was. You can have a seat. Oh, Sarah was actually their teacher who was feeling a little bit nervous. Oh, they actually can. Can kids feel nervous? Who has any idea why this book might be called First Day Jitters? Tracking you. This is tracking you. You. It's tracking you. How's that feel? That feel good? What do you think jitters is? How can you show her that you agree with what she said? Exactly. You see all those people agreeing with you. That feel good? For that nervous feeling. Is it okay to have those nervous feelings? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But I do have a little surprise to help us with those jitters. What did we just do? We read the book. This is important because in our class, we're readers and we want to celebrate. We want to celebrate how much our brains are growing, how much we're learning, how much we love reading. And the way that we do that is with our book tracker. Will you please bring me that board that has the book? Our book tracker has nothing on it, which means when I put a number on there, I'm going to put five. We just read five books, right? Mm. We read what? One, One book. If Miss Call ever misspeaks or I say something wrong, is it okay to correct me? Yeah. Yes, I wanna hear that you're paying attention. So I'm gonna put a number two on our book tracker. No. No, I need to put a what? What? A number one. How many books have we read so far? One. One. What do you think our goal is? One. A thousand maybe. maybe a a million? Million? My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Good, when it's my turn, your voice is? See, you already know part of it. We're gonna be practicing something called the Better Alphabet Song. Say it with me, Better, Better Alphabet, Alphabet Song. Song. And my friend is with Jack Hartman in this video. Her name is Katie. And I don't know if you guys had the secret stories in your classroom last year. Show me yes or no. She's actually the one who came up with 
all of the secret stories. So much for sitting on your bottom. And she made a song for the alphabet. Your shoulders and your knees are facing the board. board. And I'm getting our special surprise ready. Sounds, letters, make. We're gonna hold it with two hands and we're gonna wait. We're gonna try it all at the same time. I'm gonna send a picture to your parents. Now, did Miss Call put anything gross in there? No. no, it's delicious. It's special jitter juice only for first graders. Which you are, I know, isn't that so cool? Yeah, you can taste the sprinkles. Too. We're gonna all try it together. I took a lot of class pictures throughout the day and sent that on dojo and I took some individual pictures of them working and sent that on dojo that's always a priority for me the first day I talked to them about our about me bags and I showed them my about me bag they loved the dino nag that was actually from a teammate a co-worker she got that for me who is this what can you tell from these pictures? The first picture you can tell that I Yeah, I love coffee. Now, I want to learn more about you guys. So what I did was I made everybody a little bag. Please bring three. Show me three. Please bring three items. So can I bring my giant teddy bear? No. No, it's not going to fit. Three. three things in your bag. I know. Nope, not a coffee. The first thing in my bag. Oh, you want the second thing in my bag is a... It says... Certificate of Achievement. The last thing in my bag. This is my favorite thing. Dino Nugget. I haven't officially introduced the secret stories, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, but then when we went over our letter sounds for Hegarty, they were already incorporating some of that secret stories language and verbiage, so that was great. My favorite things together, and it's called Hegarty. Some of you guys maybe did Haggerty in kindergarten. Show me yes or no. We do this every single day after lunch. We're gonna start today. Okay, I'm gonna say two words. You're gonna repeat the two words. Then you're going to give me a thumbs up if the words rhyme, a thumbs down if they don't rhyme. Shoulders, knees to me. Go, no. Go, no. Do they rhyme or no? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Sad, mad. Oh, good job. Rip, ip, ip, bag, ag, ag, ip, and ab are different. Summer. Okay, the word and then the first sound. Summer. Summer. Ready? Baker. Baker. B. Good. Happy. Good. We're going to do it all together. Candle. Candle. Good, just one time like this. Dinner. D. Two parts of a word, compound word, and then put them together. My turn. Play ground. Your turn. Play ground. Together. Play ground. Okay, ready? Everyone's got to do it together. My turn. Leadership. 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 Love it. All right, we already practiced the first sound. We're going to practice the last sound. And when we do the last sound, we're going to punch the last sound. So if I say duck, you say duck. Do you hear that last sound? Duck. Duck. Last sounds. Ready? Rope. Rope. Huge. Huge. Good, just the last sound. You are going to repeat the word and then you're gonna break it apart. Lifeguard. 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 Butterfly. 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 Yes, ma'am. Well, it's brand new, right? We're first graders now. Whew. Okay. Sidewalk. Add walk to the end. Walk. Sidewalk. Water. Add melon to the end. Melon. Water. Melon. Moon. Moon. Add light to the end. Moon. Airport. Without the port, you just have everybody. Without the body, it's just every everybody. Without the body, it's just every. We can put it together. Every buddy, everybody. Or we can take it apart. Everybody. But the buddy is every. It's just some. 
Yeah. yeah. Toothbrush. Without the brush, it's just. Toothbrush. You have to have the brush. You gotta brush those teeth. Yeah. Yes, I love it. We're gonna change set to rise. Now the word is sun rise. Rise to light. Now we have sun rise. Sunshine. Say sunshine. Sunshine. Change shine to flower. We have sunflower. Yeah, I'm gonna say a sentence. You're gonna repeat it the exact way I say it. Ready? Welcome to my classroom. Welcome to my classroom. We walk in the hallway. We walk in the hallway. Popcorn is a good snack. Popcorn is a good snack. You can hear those changes in my voice. Like when I am talking and like this, and you can hear it, you can read it with better expression. Letter. N. Sound. N. Mm, letter. Z. Sound. Z. Sound. Oh. Or it can say. Oh. oh, yeah, you remember. Good job. Ready? Letter. Z. Sound. Z. Bite your lip. Z. Sound. Z. Pause. Z. Letter. Z. Sound. Z. You're saying. B. Watch me. Z. Yes. Z. Who taught you that? Who was your teacher? Perfect. I got to tell her thank you. Look. B. Not ba. B. Letter. U. Sound. Uh. Or it can say. U. Letter. C. Careful with this one. Sound. Yes. Or it can say. Or it can say. A. I did such a fantastic job. I am so super duper proud of you. Is it okay if I just keep telling you how proud I am of you? Is that okay? Because yes. I'm super duper proud. We read butterflies on the first day. We made butterflies. It went a lot smoother to do this activity as a whole group, so we were just on the edge of the carpet. <laughs> no peeking. Yeah, yeah. Open your hands on the count of yeah. one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Butterfly. Our book is called Butterflies on the First Day of School. school. Readers make predictions. Yeah. I wonder. If jitters and butterflies are the same thing, show me the same. Yes. Show me different. Show me the same. Show me different. I wonder if jitters and butterflies are the same. same. Nervous. nervous. Maybe I was nervous. Maybe I'd better stay home, said Rosie. I don't want Emily to be lonely. She'll be fine, said her mother, and so will you. Love you, said her mom. Have fun, called her dad. Rosie stared nervously out the window. Were you guys right? Yeah, the author told us here, she was nervous. As she spoke, a butterfly flew out of her mouth. Then, meet me on the rug. What does that sound like? Yeah, yeah that sounds like me. We're the same, show me same. Violet went next. I'm allergic to dogs, she said. Who's allergic to dogs in here? I know, yes. And sometimes I'm allergic to my brother, Alex. Is that possible? No. No, that's not possible. Wait, why did she say that? Suddenly, all eyes were on her. Do you feel that suspenseful feeling? Suddenly all eyes were on her. What's gonna happen? I don't know. Readers make? Predictions. Predictions. Do you think Rosie is gonna stand up and talk or do you think she's gonna... Freeze. If you think she's gonna stand up and talk, do a jumping jack. If you think she's gonna freeze, I want you to hop three times. Ready, go. One, two... Okay, have a seat. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Rosie took a deep breath. I have a baby sister named Emily, she said. I can't wait to hear all about it, she said. The words floated out on a shimmering butterfly's wing. Mom's the mom's but wait, the mom? Why did the mom have butterflies? Hmm. I'm done with my book. Yep, I'm done. I wish there was a way for me to remember that I read it. Oh, the book tracker, good idea. I wish there was a way for me to do something. There we go. Good. After one comes two. two. Remember, every time we read, we gotta add to our book tracker. Okay, now these butterflies are pretty fun, huh? Yeah. We're gonna make them together. The first, do you see the cap right there? First, for our butterflies, we are going to color. First, we what? Color. Color. I have directions up here. So that tells you what you're gonna do first. First, we're going to what? Uh, color. After we color, then. Uh, good, that's a good prediction. Uh, First we color, then we cut. One box of crayons. Lid opens. 
you set it underneath. Set a timer. You have 10 more minutes. They all just colored their butterflies, cut them on the carpet, and then as we were coloring the butterflies and cutting them on the carpet, I had them add those supplies into our caddies to kind of show them. Went to lunch. And then after lunch, we did Hegarty. That was awesome. The math with my name activity, that also went really well. We went over our whiteboard callbacks. That went great. We did Hegarty. Now we're gonna do math with with our name. Before we even get, before we even get what we're about to get, I gotta teach you callbacks. Ready? So if I say caps on, you say markers down. Ready? Caps on. Markers down. If I say wipe it clean, you say can't be seen. Wipe it clean. Can't be seen. Let's review. Ready? Caps on. Markers down. Wipe it clean. Can't be seen. Can't be seen. And if I say invisible boards, you say where they go. Invisible boards, where, where they, they go. go. We're going to use some dry erase sleeves and we're going to sit on the carpet. Whiteboard markers live over there. My whiteboards are here where I'm pointing. So what I do is I have two lines. I have a boys line and I have a girls line. Remember we talked about the edge of the carpet. Boys are going to line up on this edge. Girls are gonna line up on that edge. My girls are gonna, what's over there? The markers. markers. My girls are gonna get the markers. My boys are gonna get the boards first. And we're gonna move in a circle. This is all you have to get in this line. You grab one and you're gonna join the girls line. When you have marker eraser, and a paper, then you can sit in the carpet. If you color or draw, your board will go away and you'll get pencil and paper. You have to show me you are responsible. I will always give you time to draw before we start, but this is your time. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to draw your best butterfly. Ready, go. 10, seven. If you have a dry marker, Throw it away and get a new one. Six, that's why I do this, so I can make sure they all work. Okay, no, wait, don't, don't erase yet. I didn't say erase. Okay, board check. Show me, board check. Oh, wow, turn to your neighbor, say beautiful butterfly. Okay, now let's see if you remember this one. Wipe it clean. What do you say? Can't be seen. Good, then you can erase it. That is the time for you to get a new marker. So if it's dry, throw it away and get a new one, okay? We're gonna use Miss Call's name first. Tall line down, and we have two L's. We have L, and he has a twin brother with him. My first name has blank letters. One, two, three. Slant it down, number seven. Where is it crowned? My first name has seven letters. I see two vowels. What what vowels are they? E and E. E and E. Um, that was a whole group, and then we did some of those PlayStations, so I did have to move that around from my plans. I originally had that before lunch, but <laughs> we did it afterwards, and then while they were kind of playing with their friends, which actually was really great because I had a girl who didn't have any kind of like friends from her old class, and so she was really, really upset there the whole day because she felt like she didn't have people so getting that chance to just play and be with the kids in the room was really really helpful for her so always always support playstations on the first day of school anyways i was pulling them to do a little self-reflection i decided i was going to start getting these done today and i got about halfway through getting these done it's just really good information for me then we went to specials and then when we came back from specials um, i finished up some more of those we did a letter from your teacher i gave them my gift yeah. what is matching your voice is oh. oh beautiful i'm gonna teach you the next part the next part is i need you to and you say look, look. Listen, listen and learn and I need you to look, listen, and learn. Good, from the top. My turn. My turn. You say your turn. My turn. When it's my turn, your voice says, I need you to look, listen, and learn. Good, if you're learning, you are? Good, and I need you to sit on your? Bottom. Yeah, you got it first grade. Okay, our last book of the day is a letter from your teacher on the first day 
of school. Wait. That's today. Yay! I promise every morning to greet you with a smile. This is our happy place. I love being your teacher and you mean so much to me. Yay! <laughs> That's it. Oh, there we go. We gotta add it to our book tracker. Yes, ma'am. After two comes? Three. Three. Around a tree, around a tree. That's the way you make a three. I am excited to see all that you do. First grade is great, but it's better with you. I know we just met, but as your teacher, I know this year will be great. Keep this heart to hold somewhere special, somewhere safe, because in my heart, I saved you a place. Welcome to first grade, love, Mrs. Call. And each of you get this little heart. Do you see how there's a space saved in there just for you? Each of you get this. You're so welcome. Um, I also gave out birthday gifts to two girls who had their birthday like four or five days ago. And then I gave them their Bowie bags, we packed up talked about how we clean the room at the end of the day. So that was my first day. I think it went really, really well. And I did have a couple of kids who would cry throughout the day because they missed their mom, but then we would do something fun and they would kind of feel better. So and then I also showed them like, hey, like I'm sending this picture on Class Dojo. Look, they saw it, they are thinking of you. And that really helps them out too. So it's kind of crazy how fast and slow the first day goes. Really excited for tomorrow. The rest of the week is going to be in a separate vlog. I just wanted to kind of share about my first day and uh, you can tell throughout the video, I. I told you guys in my planning video, I'm not super routine heavy. I talked to them about things as they come up. We had our first bathroom break together. We did the bathroom procedures. Didn't even talk to them about flexible seating yet and how we're gonna do that. We did everything on the carpet today and we didn't really do that many work related things. It was all just community, talking to each other, those kind of things. I'm just gonna be introducing things slowly as we go throughout the week. Things like our goal jar, things that we're working towards, our director and helper. I took all of their pictures today and so I'm going to print those off and have a director and helper tomorrow and kind of ease them into that routine but we're moving we're grooving let me know if you've had your first day yet let me know how it went let me know what's helpful to see in these videos because moving forward I cannot do usually when I record a full week in my life I have about four hours of footage to edit so I'm gonna be very selective with the things that I show you and include so let me know what is most helpful to you what you want to see dedicated videos on if you're new to the channel let me know say hi below make sure you like this video if it was helpful subscribe and join the family down below and I will see you in the next one first week of school Thank you.